Good morning, good afternoon, VIP Queens. It is your coach, JNL, and welcome to our headquarter offices here in Miami, Florida. We are live streaming around the world. I want to go ahead and wish everyone a very happy last day of Rocktober. Ring the bell. Get your dance towels out. Get your pom-poms going. Get your tambourine going because today is a day we get to celebrate all of our progress. Let me take roll call real quick. We've got lovely Lynn, Dynamite Donna, Miss Sunshine. Hello, Sam. Hello, Queen Yaya. I love the lightning bolts. We are truly jolted. Give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video out. The more love you show on the timeline and the more likes we get, the more we can boost our algorithm and reach more potential VIP queens. And I just want to say I am so impressed with all of you. I am so impressed with your progress reports, with your tenacity, persistence, team building exercises, everything that I'm seeing here as a VIP queen leader, you are all just slaying this program. I am beyond excited to connect with you. Hello, everyone on Facebook, on on Instagram, and also TikTok, and here on YouTube. I am so thrilled to motivate you. We're going to get right into it. First of all, who will be crowned Miss VIP Queen of the Month? Your votes are in. You're going to find out at today's workout at the end. Who will also be the VIP One Stop Shop Ambassador of the Month? Well, guess what? You're going to have to find out at the end of today's workout. And today is going to be a rocking good time. We're going to shut down this month off strong. And remember, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. So I want you guys to show up. And even if you can't do the live, get to the replay. We have so much to be grateful for. I am so thrilled. Just a couple of quick announcements before we go into the jolt. This weekend is daylight savings time on Saturday night before you go to bed, set your clock back, fall back one hour. And also this Saturday is our four year anniversary. Oh my goodness. Of being in the VIP program, having it started four years ago. So it's going to be a big party and big celebration this Saturday. All right, Queens casting call one spot left on 11, 11, which was going to be a master class, but think of this as a master class red carpet. Hmm. Um, Queen Fusion strikes again. I'm going to blend some red carpet with some master class topics, and we're going to look back at this year to look forward to project into 2023. We have Sarah Omen. She's going to be on the red carpet. She's volunteered to step onto the red carpet. So who will take the other spot? Who will be the lucky one? Reach out to me because that spot will fill up fast. Also, we're casting for your shine, your light series. That was a great hit this past month. We're going to continue with that. So if you have a topic you want to share. If you are an expert in your field, please reach out to me. We'll get you booked. Doesn't matter what time of the day it is. You go live when it's good for your schedule. So please reach out to me. Tomorrow is a new month, new goals, and new energy. Cheers to that. Our cup runneth over, literally. So tomorrow, new month, new goals, new energy. What are your goals? What are your what is your VIP power word and why? Hello, Diane. Hello, Lynn. Hello, Emily. I want to know what your VIP power word and why. Oh my goodness. You know what mine is. I already told you what it was. I am so excited about extending my vocabulary because when you give yourself labels or words or power words, it, it just becomes more of your characteristics, more of your personality. And um, I'm so thrilled to see what your word is because you actually start living that. Why do I do that VIP power word? Because it is, it is a type of goal. It's a goal. It really is. So you have that word, it's a mini goal, but then it just starts to, to flow over into all areas of your life. All right, queen. So, um, I just love reading all your progress reports. So let me ask you this. How important is your progress report? On a scale from one to 10, how important is your progress? Go ahead and answer. How important is your progress? Because a lot of you joined here 
for self-mastery. You're mastering yourself. It's self-mastery. So self-mastery starts with doing things you might not necessarily want to do or you have a block. So I warmly invite you again, last call you have until the end of today to get your progress reports in. Even if it's a quick video, if you don't have a lot of time, I get it. If you want to just write three sentences, something is better than nothing, email it to me because when you take the time to sit down with yourself and measure your progress, you're telling yourself and everyone in your community here that you respect yourself. You respect yourself mastery progress. And it's a great relationship to really dive into this one of self mastery where you get to really uh, measure your progress. And this month on everybody, everyone that went to London, everyone that did the challenge, everyone that got dressed up for Halloween. I mean, so much great progress here, so many leaps and bounds. And I'm so thrilled to read your progress reports. So please make sure you get those in. Okay, tomorrow, real quick, tomorrow is the one-year anniversary of our one-stop VIP shop lifestyle brand. But I got a call from the beauty box. So we're going back on Amazon Live tomorrow. No obligation to purchase, but please tune in at one o'clock. I'll be going live with Mary and Marmberg here from my Miami headquarters studios. And we're gonna be live streaming on Amazon Live. So please log on, learn, laugh, and maybe even win something. So we'll see you tomorrow. I already shared out the link, but we will be also celebrating all week long our one-stop VIP shop uh, one-year anniversary. What a blessing. All right, it's jolt time, queens. It is jolt time. I want you to know that Friday's red carpet is like, a jolt is like a coffee. It's like coffee. Friday is more like a cafe con leche. It's a little more suave. It's a little more soft. It's got a lot of sugar-free creamer in it. You know, it's not so hot. It's more like a hot chocolate, if you will. But Monday, Wednesday, Saturday's jolt, they're like a double espresso served hot. Okay. A Cuban coffee. It's some short, but it's powerful and it's strong. So today you're going to get some you're going to get some double espresso. And this really is medicine for the soul. One VIP queen said your jolts are like medicine for the soul. All right, queens, if you're following along, I want you to check out page 248. And we're going to continue with seeing through the smoke and mirrors of life. Okay. Seeing through the smoke and mirrors of life, the illusions. Um, we see a lot of decadent uh, lifestyles out here in Miami, especially people out there putting on the glitz and the glam, but they're like a gerbil on a wheel going nowhere fast or people that are not happy, but they have all reasons to be happy. They're seeing, you know, there's, they're stuck in the smoke and mirrors of you shouldn't be happy. You have nothing to be happy about all those lies. So it's double-sided. I want you to really start seeing just how beautiful your life is. I'm going to give you tools, tips, techniques, and strategies that will strengthen your VIP power. Okay. This is like VIPology. Okay. If VIPology was a philosophy, these would be the top, top rules, tools, techniques, strategies of mental tools that help you do the mental aerobics that will keep you sane, keep you level-headed, even tempered, strong, not flying off the handle. Um, I'm here to help you raise your emotional IQ. Wow. We always talk here about your intellect IQ. What about emotional IQ? Thank you for all the positive commentary. I love your quotes. Thank you, Dynamite Donna. This is about tapping into your emotional IQ. I want to start with tip number one. If you want to take notes, please do so. Um, tip number one, I always say this, win the morning, you're going to win your life. Okay, so make sure you win the morning. Not only that, you win the night. Win the morning, win the night, you can book in your day. You know, maybe you don't have that much control of what actually happens to you during the day. But if you set the tone in the morning and then you recap at night everything that went well, everything that went to plan, or even if it didn't, you are able to flip it. You're a master flipper. People talk about flipping in real estate. Well, you're a flipper now with your mental real estate. This, a lot of worry, guilt, anxiety, uh, self-doubt is just taking up the mental real estate and it's not even paying rent. It's not even making a down payment. So kick it out, you know, get rid of the negative energy and especially in the morning, if you win the morning, you're going to win the day and then you win your life. 
And at the end, bookend it. That is powerful, Queens. I can't stress that enough. It sounds so simple, yet it's so profound. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Wendy. All right. So I love this quote, sharing the wisdom that changes everything. We suffer more in imagination than in reality. We suffer more in imagination than in reality. So if you start your day worrying, stressed, in doubt, it's going to bleed into everything you do. Your physicality is going to carry that. People read your physicality, not really even what you're saying. So when you walk into your office, the school, walk in with confidence, with that pep in your step, just like Wendy said in the panel last Friday, she was welcoming the kids with that positive, cheery attitude. The other teacher took notice and said, bring some of that over here. We need more of that. Be that light that shines throughout the day so other people take notice. And it is just like a disease is carried from, you know, one touching another person. That blessed VIP power is, is like osmosis. You can get it just from, from being around positive energy. So have that VIP attitude that is worth catching. Okay. Number two, focus on what you can do, not what you can't do. And also what you can't control, forget about it. Focus on what you can control, not what you can't control. Stop wasting time on the unwinnable events. Think about the serenity prayer. Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. I love that one. That is very much part of the VIPology. Just focus on what you can do. Don't even waste your mental energy, your physical energy, focusing on what you can't control right? I love that one. Um, for example, a flight is delayed. No amount of yelling at the airline attendant will make that plane take off any quicker. No amount of wishing will make you taller or shorter. <laughs> and no matter how hard you try, you can't make someone like you, okay? You can't make someone like you. You are loved here. You are liked here. You are admired here. You have all the VIP queen uh, characteristics here because you always show up as your best and highest version of yourself. That's why we love checking into the group because we put on our crowns and we step onto the red carpet and we choose to do the right, even in the face of adversity. You can think of this as the circle of influence concept. It's the ability to differentiate between the things that are under control and those that are not. Very powerful, Queens. All right. The chief task in life is simply to do this, to identify and separate matters so that it can clearly, you can see the externals that are not under control and which you have control over. And the ones that you have control over, you better shine, choose the right, do the right. Always say the right thing that's going to evoke positive energy because what you put out there, the law of karma comes back to you. This right here ends all emotional eating, emotional drinking, emotional shopping, emotional gossiping, all those low vibrational dopamine hits that we need to fill in that void because you're really doing it. Number three, be grateful, not only for what you say is good, but grateful for your failures. The theme of this is stop assigning negative meaning to everything events are not good or bad. It's what you assign to them. And when you're a VIP queen, you start seeing everything as working for you, for your greater good. Everything is working for you. It's not happening to you. It's happening for you. Okay. Be grateful for your failures and your, I don't want to say bad experiences because they're not bad, but the things that make you rise to the occasion, that challenge you. The true VIP queen embraces hardship as her trainer to make her stronger and strengthen her VIP power. Um, I don't want you to say, why me? Say, try me. Shout out to Kelly Kubiak. She's um, out of the state. She's in Ohio. She hurt, broke her foot running, hit the bed, I believe, the bedpost. And she is Nothing's going to slow me down. I'm wrapping up my foot in the airport and I'm smiling. Did you see her once complain? No, she didn't say, why me? She said, try me. Okay, that is, she's putting her VIPology philosophy and wisdom into action. Okay, we need grist for the mill. Useful experience, material, or knowledge that will help us be stronger. Help us be stronger and more just impactful. We need patience, resilience, and we have to do what we don't like to do and find what we have to do enjoyable. 
and, and stay there, be consistent, never leave the, just be the grist in the mill. We need that traction. Okay. The, hello. <laughs> so much lizzie yaya share out this video hello latasha kimberly Kim yes wendy all right i want you to know that we have a lot of people in our lives well maybe you're a vip queen and, and we kind of set our we started saying no no thank you to people that rub us the wrong way but when you are rubbed you actually get shined how does a piece of coal get to be a diamond it is, it is pressure. It is then polished. It is rubbed, rubbed the wrong way with friction. So it shines. So we want you to say and think to yourselves, if I pass through life without an opponent, no one would know just how strong you are. Your opponents in your life are giving you an opportunity to rise up and shine and say, you're not going to flip with me. You're not going to mess with me. I'm going to prove to everyone just how strong I am. And an easy life would lead to a kind of just a dull, mundane life where you weren't able to have the opportunity to show your beauty and strength and resiliency inside. So if everyone's creating hell for you, kind of say, Thank you, because you're giving me a platform just to show the world, to show to myself and my loved ones what a badass mama jamma I am. Give them a thank you. Say thank you, haters, <laughs> for giving me an opportunity to shine because you're making me look good and you're making yourself look awfully bad. And that's going to go in the history books. Dale, love you, Kelly. Kelly's over here in, in beautiful Facebook land. We love you. Share this out on your timeline. All right, so learn to help yourself. This is the number one. Number four, learn to help yourself. This is self-help. Not, not let me try to help her or pinpoint her problems out class. This is self-help. Help yourself. This is all about you. When you signed up to the VIP program for the workouts, the nutritional coaching, the, the community, the support, you signed up for yourself, not to subconsciously, which I think we might do not knowing where we sign up to get ourselves better so we can kind of go and fix other people too. We're not trying to fix other people. They need to, they need to row their own canoe. They need to take care of their own lives. What you can do is shine so bright that they take notice and they have um, autonomy to say, you know what? I want some of that. And which has happened a lot in our program. People seen Kelly shine, Dr. Jan shine, which brought in Angela, you know, ride out, um, um, the, the wolf pack, the crazy Canucks. It just like osmosis. People see that. So self mastery is about you. Remember, keep your horse blinders on, keep your eye on the prize. This is about you. That's VIPology. We're not here to fix other people. And even as a coach, I don't try to fix you. I, I try to conjure up positive emotions and link them to positive, impactful longevity things that you can do today that will bless the rest of your life. And it's up to you. And I don't micromanage. I don't believe in that. I'm not a breed down your neck type of coach or a control freak. I let people play their own game. You're in a big video game. If you get to the big boss level, that's up to you. I'm going to help you learn the cheat code. <laughs> don't go over there. There's a bad goblin behind there that'll grab you. You have to start way back at the top again at the beginning. This is about you self mastery. Okay. Right now I started as a cat, you know, meow, meow. Now I'm a tiger, La Tigra. I roar. Same thing on your evolution. You have to see through the smoke and mirrors. If you're a tiger and you're surrounded by four cats and the cats are going meow and crying and whining and saying, I don't believe she said that to you. That's really negative. And she was saying this, you need to say, listen, I don't even see it as good or bad. It just is. I'm focused on my life and my goals. If you don't have enough goals that you're actually sitting around worrying about what people are saying about you and judging you, then you need some goals. You need to tigress up, VIP power up and say, you know what? I'm glad that that person, for example, said that about me because now I know exactly what side they're on. They're not for me. They're against me. Thank you for that clarity. Thank you now that I saw that person's true colors. So it's actually a good thing. You see how I flipped it? It's actually a good thing. So you have clarity. Clarity is priceless. So you know who you're dealing with. The snakes will always 
you know, snake themselves out. So don't be fooled, queens. And that's another big VIPology. Don't be afraid to not be liked by everyone. You're not going to be liked by everyone. And that's okay. You're a VIP queen. People are going to always want to look for your dent and your armor where you sit among royalty here. All right. So right now, it's not events that disturb people. It's their judgment about them. This is a good jolt. You want to put a star by this one. All right. And I see the time. Don't worry. We have time. Um, I got about two more minutes. So hang tight. We're going deep into the hot double espresso jolt here. Something happens, but we decide that it's unfair or bad or not good. Someone said this about us, but we decided that it offends us um, or it's presumptuous or rude. Here's the kicker. If someone succeeds in provoking you, realize that your mind is complicit in the prov provocation. Let me say that again. If someone succeeds in provoking you, your mind, your emotional IQ is complicit in the provocation and really let that marinate because you're evolving. I don't have time for this part of my French, but I like to say it this way. We don't have time for the squirrel cage BS. Okay. The little things you're moving mountains with your faith. Don't let the enemy slip you up with that small little minuscule buffoonery. I said that word, <laughs> you know, it's coming. So we were born with two ears, two eyes and one mouth. So listen and watch more than you speak. Okay. Always observe. The more you are open to learn, the more you will become free. Wow. This VIPology, it needs to be a philosophy in its own darn right. <laughs> okay. Professor J and L here. Um, time to turn up the fire. Obstacles are seen as fuel. Think about fire. You're fire queens. You might've come in with a little flame, but now you're a roaring bonfire. Now listen up. Whatever you throw into the fire, it's going to be incinerated and turned to ash. So think about that. If people throw, quote unquote, good, bad, uh, middle of the road, your way, no matter what, you're going to use it as fuel. You're going to burn it up. That's the VIP queen way. All right. So people come at you good or bad, burn it up, use it as fuel. Just keep flipping it and keep your eye on the prize on your goals. Thank you, Yaya. Thank you, Dynamite. So right now, the only thing we should be worried about is why you are worrying so much. That's why I'm worried that you're so worried so much. I want you to know that you have nothing to worry about. The women of faith here, we have a lot of women of faith here, especially especially those that really believe in their higher power and, and that you know that you are functioning now from faith and not fear. We should not be worrying about one darn thing. We're going to let go and focus on what we can control. Take a back step. Here's another great tip. Zoom out. I want you to zoom out. You know, you take a picture on your cell phone, you zoom in. I want you to zoom out. Keep everything in context when you are living your life. That's going to help you understand what is important and what is minuscule, what is not important. Also, what you can control uh, compared to what you can't control. Pain and suffering are a part of life, but what isn't a part of life are, are the phantom premonitions. Hello, happy Halloween. But sometimes people have Halloween all year round. Why? Because we are riddled with the phantom premonitions of what may or may not happen. Okay. And funny enough, some of these bad things never happen, but they've already happened in your imagination. Going back to my future, my past quote is that you know, we suffer more in imagination than we do in reality. So grab a hold of your brain, make it your best friend, end the civil war so you stop going back and forth on the negative and positive and just say, whatever comes my way, I'm going to incinerate it like the fire that I am. I'm going to use it for food and fuel to ignite and continue on my VIP journey on the train. It's like throwing coal into the train. Chugga, chugga, choo, choo, steamrolling here, Queens. All right, we got one more minute. Who do you consort with? The famous quote, show me the top five people you hang around and I will show you who you are, your future, your trajectory, where you're going. If you are a, on a La Tigra Tiger level, but you're hanging around with kitty cats, time to really level up. If you're a VIP queen, but you're hanging around with people that don't feel worthy of sitting in the throne and they're still kind of scrubbing the floors on their hands and knees and, and, and not happy and suffering. And we need to level up. The time has come queen. It's going to be a new month tomorrow. I want you to really take a look at everyone that you're hanging around. More importantly, this is why you love hanging out in the group because you see your constituents, you see who you consort with. These are where your sisters, iron sharpens iron. 
um, you have broken into a new solid, strong social circle here. You should feel very excited about that. You have friends in every corner of the globe. The three musketeers have really bonded. I love to see them with their synergy. I just love all the different, you know, connections that are growing here, all the different positive relationships, you know, even blood sisters getting closer. Um, family, we're fitness family, right? So I really consider you my sisters. Lynn said it in her progress report that I don't even know how to put into words, but I just feel like I have fitness family now. And then I have real true sisters, soul sisters. And that makes me so happy. So in closing, look into your mind and it really is the GPS of happiness. Train it to lead you to fly. Your brain, your mindset, your mental attitude, your PMA, positive mental attitude, not PMS, hello, PMA, positive mental attitude, is going to help you to not drive over a cliff and end things. It's going to help you to fly, to fly high like an eagle. Stop the mental anguish. Nothing is bad. Stop assigning bad. That's bad. That happened. Find the good in everything. That is how you're going to flip it so you can fly. Flip it so you can fly, queens. Let us fly like eagles. So I just want to recap on everything. Who's going to be the VIP queen of the month? We're going to find out the end of today's workout. Also, who will be the VIP uh, one-stop VIP shop ambassador of the month? Thank you for all your support on the social media frontier. Um, we're stronger together. We cannot wait to find out who will be awarded that privilege and that title. Also, tomorrow is the beauty box. Who would like to rock the red carpet on 1111 with me and Sarah Omen? Let me know. This Saturday is our four-year anniversary, and I am so thrilled. We have so many blessings and not enough time to really celebrate. So, Queens, with that being said, join me in the private link for our workout. And if you're not a member, I highly suggest you do join. If you liked our VIPology, our, our method of how we choose to live our life in our highest and best version, choosing happiness and joy over suffering and anguish and anxiety, get, get join us. I give you a warm invitation to put your crown on, to step onto the red carpet, sit in your throne and start working on yourself. Remember, it's self-mastery. Okay, stop trying to fix people's lives. They're not going to try to fix yours. They're not even going to try to take your advice. I tried that long ago and I had the epiphany said, you know what? Let me take care of myself so I can truly take care of those that are ready. Join us. The link is in the comments in the YouTube here uh, video link, but you can also go straight to jnlvipsignup.com. All right, Queens. So that being said, let's get this workout started. I'll see you in the VIP room. Let's stay jolted. Love you, Queens. Woo, that was a good one. Woo.